Yeah, hello, dear people. I'm happily sitting here with Dr. Arthur Rakimov, and my name is Volker Schmitz. And today we want to talk about arterial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation. Yeah, atrial. Um, yeah, I'm from Germany. I have a little bit of accent in here. So atrial fibrillation and its relation to breathing retraining of the famous uh, Dr. Buteyko. So, dear Dr. Rakimov, can you tell us something about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, people with uh, atrial fibrillation. We get uh, irregular normal heartbeat and uh, sometimes we can even, let's say, wake up at night and feel that heart is pounding and that is called heart palpitations, mm, sure. so a kind of a symptom that we notice, but people can have irregular heartbeat without even realizing Notice. noticing it. So the problem appears with there are many abnormalities that take place with heart when the heart does not get enough blood and enough, not enough oxygen mm. in the tissue of the heart yeah. in itself. And that is condition which you can expect because people these days brief about an average twice the medical norm. So medical research and this can be can be considered now as a law that people now brief twice the norm in average, and uh, that causes them to have less oxygen because carbon dioxide, the gas which provides dilation of blood vessels, the most powerful known was a dilator yeah. and when people have hidden hyperventilation you would not necessarily see all the time we breathe when twice sometimes three times the norm all the time 24 hours per day and we never realize that we breathe too much so the uh, situation here can be solved with the briefing retraining particularly the boutique briefing technique is the most known most popular because it restores the breathing to the medical the idea norm. is again go to back to the medical norm it takes a lot of efforts from people because we are talking about our autonomic or unconscious breathing which mm -hmm. goes on day and night during sleep as well so to retain breath people need to practice breathing exercises one big part that we teach one two hours a day physical exercise with nose breathing again at the level one two three hours a day so it's by no means very easy huh? and like it's hard but it works really well in terms of all my students who had this concern who had this complaint problem usually as a secondary condition we were able to get rid of it okay. by breathing retraining so it's hard technique hard method it's but amazing. it works really well and it's absolutely natural as well because you don't take medication you actually would be able to get rid of all medications okay. that you probably use for heart disease or to prevent stroke, or blood thinning, whatever medication yeah. people may use. So that's a great news in terms of we are able to solve it by breathing retraining. And when people start with arterial fibrillation, like when they have this complaint, the initial stage probably would be around 15-20 seconds for the CP or body oxygen test, mm -hmm. which is quite low result, but again quite common among those who have health problems. If you don't know, check it below in the transcription. There's a link. We have, yes. This is the CP test. We have, the yeah, CP test on the normalbriefing.com, explained other sites, control post, so-called test. And when we retrain the breath, we need sometimes up to 40-50 seconds to be totally free from atrial fibrillation, from symptoms so that doctor would say you have normal EKG now and your heart does not have any arrhythmia, any abnormalities. Actually, it has been known for decades in medicine that when somebody goes to do EKG test, if this person deliberately hyperventilates, yeah. it's possible to create various abnormalities. Mm -hmm. Actually, several different abnormalities depending on genetics, other factors, mm -hmm. just by hyperventilating. Mm -hmm. So what we do here, we do the opposite thing. We retrain our body how to breathe in accordance with medical norms. And that allows us to restore normal blood flow, oxygen content, but also normal uh, normal synchronization harmony because heart is a very complicated organ which means you know different valves need to open exactly at certain time some needs to close some muscles should like push constrict yeah. and, and so on and that makes it really complicated when we hyperventilate the nervous system get overexcited and it also can provide a contribution to having irregular heartbeat so when we restore our breathing, CO2 level gets high, oxygen level gets to the normal, blood flow to the heart muscle itself gets normalized. So we have like several abnormalities. And if there is any abnormal tissue which can appear in the heart muscle itself, this tissue starts to dissolve, disappear when people get around 40-50 seconds for the body oxygen test. So therefore, variety of health conditions, not only atrial fibrillation, but other conditions, and of course to prevent stroke as well. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
very possible, not only possible, even this, what I see in all my students who manage to retrain their program. When people follow the program, there is like exceptionally high chances, like probably 99% or higher, that by following the program, students are able to retrain their breath, and that solves completely problem with arterial fibrillation. Okay, that's awesome.